our new blog series today, and I'm doing a live on how to stay motivated to lose weight. I've been talking to a lot of moms about weight loss, and it's not really the workouts that are the problem, and it's not even really the, the nutrition or diet that's the problem. It's actually staying motivated and continuing uh, when things get tough. So uh, through those conversations, I've kind of figured out that like we need something like this where you can figure out uh, how to stay motivated every day to reach your weight loss goals, or any goal for that matter, but I'm focusing on weight loss because it, it seems to be the topic we're all talking uh, interest in it. Um, do you guys remember the series, the HBO series, back, I think it was back in the 90s, called uh, America Undercover, where they did like documentary series on like um, unique topics? There was one that was on uh, multiple personality disorders, and there's this one mom by the name of Barb, and you see her, uh, her everyday struggles with multiple personalities. There's one particular story in her life story that um, she's going shopping with her family, which is like a normal activity that all of us do. And uh, as she's walking through the aisles, all of a sudden she starts talking in this childlike voice. They're looking for cereal. The kids are picking up, her kids are picking up cereals. And uh, she starts talking in this childlike voice and she's squinting. She wears glasses. She's squinting forward and she, and she can't see what she's looking at. Well, she takes the glasses off and immediately uh, finds the strawberry cereal she's looking for. And she's very excited about it. Um, that's one of her multiple personalities. Um, that's May, a five-year-old girl. That's one of the many personalities she has, and it's it's uh, interesting that our, our minds can legitimately do that. Um, and that's like pretty much shows the power of our brain. Uh, there's actually, I looked further into this multiple personality thing and found uh, documentation um, that actually somebody with uh, one personality had a scar, and then the other personality didn't, and they actually legitimately would disappear and reappear depending on what personality they, they were. So that's just crazy to me too. And um, there's another one where legitimately the other personality is allergic to orange juice. <laughs> so when that personality drinks orange juice, they break out in hives. So uh, that's the power of a brain. It actually can legitimately uh, switch like that. So that's kind of how motivation works. That's um, the power of our brain is how, and we have to train it in order to stay motiv motivated. Literally train your brain and control it to do anything you want it to do. Um, that's ultimately what motivation is. And motivation to work out is to train your brain. Um, with thoughts, images, and um, goals. And that's basically what we're, I'm going to be talking about in the series is how we can stay motivated and how we can train our brain to um, be motivated. Because the first thing we, like, first thing we have to work out is, is mindset. That's the first thing everyone needs to work on with motivation in any part of, part of life, especially in uh, achieving a goal. So that's basically what my life is about today. Uh, this, this is going to be a continuing series, so stay tuned for uh, the next episode where I'm going to go further in, into motivation and how we can train our brains to be more motivated and stay motivated um, when working out. I hope you enjoyed this and if you have any questions and, or maybe you um, have a question about motivation you want to post in the comments below, I'll be happy to answer it later. And remember everybody, have a great day and discover your power.